so in here. Now, because we can't cook in school at the moment, hopefully it'll be different after Christmas, um, we're all cooking at home, even me. So I will be doing all my demonstrations on my own kitchen. Uh, I'm posting them on this YouTube channel for you to do the same so that we can still all develop our cooking skills and become independent chefs. So use the plans that you have all drawn up in your Yachida book and follow my cookery videos uh, so none of us miss out. So uh, once you have uh, done your own cooking, then take a picture, post it on Teams for either myself or Mrs. Kenworthy to see uh, so we can all carry on regardless of the coronavirus. So, like and subscribe to my channel and enjoy! So the first recipe we're going to make is fruit crumble. Now this is quite a simple recipe because when you're in the food room this is the first thing you'll be cooking. So, our main learning objective isn't just making the fruit crumble but it's to learn how to wash up properly, wash your hands properly, put an apron on. So. I'd like you to do the same at home. I want you to wash up by hand in your sink, even if you do have a dishwasher. So the equipment we need to make fruit crumble is some scales, a mixing bowl, an oven proof dish. This recipe does make a small fruit crumble that would probably feed two to three people. So if you do have a large family, you might want to double the ingredients. You'll need a sieve to strain out any juice from the tins of fruit, a knife to chop the fruit as it's soft anyway, a tin opener and a spoon. So first thing you need to do is get ready to cook. So put an apron on, wash your hands, take off your jewellery, tie your hair up and preheat the oven to 200 degrees and make sure you have an adult to help you put it in when it's ready. Before weighing out, make sure your scales are always on zero. So you might need to find the dial and, and adjust it to make sure it's on zero. So we're gonna weigh out all our dry ingredients first and then the butter. We'll put all the dry ingredients in your mixing bowl and with clean hands, you're gonna mix them up. So in this bowl, I've got flour, sugar, and oats, which are all under the class of carbohydrates. We're now going to add in the butter. Now, if your butter is hard, just chop it into cubes with a table knife. We're going to use our hands to squish the butter. Now, this is called the rubbing in method. So use your hands to rub the fat, the butter, through the flour and the other ingredients. The warmth of your hands will soften the butter. So it's a really good workout. Once it's crumbled and all well mixed in, we're going to set this aside and put the fruits into the oven proof dish. Open your tin. So if you have a ring pull, then pull the ring pull towards you, turn around, put your thumb in the circle and roll the lid back and it'll open. Now we now need to drain this juice from the tin, otherwise the crumble will just be swimming on top. So using a sieve, pour the fruit into it to drain, recycle the tin. If you haven't got a sieve, you could always just press down on the lid of the tin to get rid of the juice. The fruit now needs to go in the bottom of your oven proof dish. Now an oven proof dish can be metal, ceramic or glass. And I need to use a table knife now to chop the fruit into bite sized pieces. I've got some frozen blackberries that I might add 
Um, they have been picked these in September and I've kept them frozen till now. And we're going to pat that down in our dish. We're now going to cover the dish with our crumble topping. Now, don't, remember not to pat it down. It's not a sandcastle. It has to look crumbly. And now that's going to go in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes, but it does depend on the size of your crumble. We know it's cooked when it's all golden brown on the top and there's little bubbles appearing around the sides of the dish. So once the fruit crumble is in the oven and cooking, it's time to wash up. And in our first lesson, this is one thing that we focus on because we don't have dishwashers in the food room in Escolarius, so we all have to wash up by hand. So, make sure that the water is nice and warm before you put the plug in. We only need two to three drops of fairy liquid. For washing up, you will need a cloth, which we squeeze like this, and this is what we wash the sides with. A tea towel is for drying up. We always wash up in twos, so one person would wash up and one person would dry. All your dirty things should not be dumped in the sink, they should be on the side, ready to be washed separately. So we're going to start with the glass dish first. I've emptied any ex excess out of it. And then we're going to put it upside down on the draining board to drain. Now, if you're not used to washing up at home, this is your time to practice. So, there we go. Fruit crumble, and I'm serving mine today with custard.